this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to web up and over laminate an entire roll of pressure sensitive vinyl with your compadre. You'll need three items to do this process. I've chosen AGL's Coverite V6G as the over laminate. And of course, we'll need an empty three inch core to wind the release liner up from the Coverite V6G. And you'll need your roll of pressure sensitive vinyl images. I'm going to go ahead and load these onto the compadre, and then we can look at the webbing process. I've already set the unwind brake tension to four full counterclockwise rotations for the Coverite V6G, and you'll need to do the same here for the release liner wind up. Now, for your pressure sensitive vinyl images located below on the bottom supply shaft, start with a setting of seven counterclockwise rotations. Next, swing the end feed table into its upright and resting position. Now we can web our pressure sensitive vinyl decals through the nip of the laminator. But before we do this, let me give you a little tip. When you print a roll of prints on your printer, the end of the roll of prints actually becomes the leading edge of a roll of prints when placed on the laminator. If you have some extra space, don't cut it off. Leave it on. This will make webbing the laminator a lot easier. Here you can see this extra material before my images actually start. Now, I'm going to tuck the pressure sensitive decal material through the nib, placing my hand here away from the nib, reaching over and placing the rollers in the down position. Now I can take and return the end feed table into its resting position. Now we can web up the over laminate. Find the leading edge and take a nice wide grip. And I'm actually going to pull it over the top of the release liner wind up for just a moment because I want to show you how to score through just the release liner. Now, about six inches up, I actually want to tear the release liner. I'm going to pull it towards me and then push it away from me to create this notch. Now, I'll place my finger up underneath the release liner. This will allow me to place the edge of the zippy cutter and score the release liner all the way across the web like so. Now, I'll wind the over laminate backwards, passing it up underneath the release liner wind up. Now, I'll pull a little material onto the table and tuck it firmly into the nib all the way across the web. Now, I can use the foot switch giving a little slack to the upper roll and advance the material into the nib. Once the release liner where it's scored is about one inch off the height of the table, go ahead and stop the laminator. Next, you'll want to separate the release liner all the way across the web here and attach it to the wind-up core. To do this, I'll start on the left side pulling it out and away from the top main roller. I'll use a small piece of tape and I'll twist it 180 degrees creating a bow tie so that I can tape it to the back side of the release liner and to the wind up core. Now I'll use the foot switch to advance this release liner here through the nip. When you've done that, release the foot switch and go to the back side of the laminator. Now that the compadre is webbed up, I've set the forward run speed to five feet per minute. All we have to do now is to press the run switch and trim or separate our prints as they come off of the laminator. Well, now you can see just how easy it is to web up your compadre to over laminate an entire roll of pressure sensitive vinyl images. Looks great. Hey, can I get some fries with this? <laughs>